My full name is Emmanuel Majuk, but um, you can call me Emo. I'm 29 years old and I'm from South Sudan, but I live out in WA. Well, I was always considered like the class clown. People always told me, oh, you're the funniest guy I know. The first time when I stepped on stage was November 15, 2016. I was so terrified, man. I was shaking. Um, but then as soon as you hit the stage, man, um, within the first couple seconds when you get your first laugh, your confidence changes straight away. Um, it'll be interesting to see how tonight goes with all those thousands of people then. So, yeah. Now from Perth. Nah, I'm just playing around. I speak English. <laughs> now that you have your opportunity to stereotype me, Melbourne, what is up? Raw comedy, make some noise. <laughs> God damn, there's a lot of white people in here tonight. White people make some noise. <laughs> you way more privileged than that. I said, white people make some noise. <laughs> Man, growing up as a kid, I used to think that white people got up every single morning happy because they're white. <laughs> nah, seriously. Like, you find yourself in your bathroom and you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> then you catch a glimpse of yourself in the mirror coming up, <gasps> and you're still white. <laughs> oh, this is a good day for me. I should go out there and be somebody. Uh, my best friend, he's white, and because of the differences in culture, sometimes it leaves room for ignorance. I got a phone call from, uh, from him back in Perth uh, about a couple weeks ago. Yeah, hello? Uh, emo, wags here, 40 degree weather, perfect for kite surfing. Kite surfing? I had to consult my black self, I was like, is that something that we do as black people? I said, no, nah, wags, I'm gonna have to give that a skip. <laughs> he said, why not? I said, wags, I'm black, I can't swim. <laughs> my boy always needs a second reason. He said, so? <laughs> I said, wags, do me a favor, name me one black surfer. Yahweh. He said, uh, maybe kite surfing's not for you. Um, come to the beach, it's 40 degrees. Um, we'll kick the ball around, it'll be perfect. I said, if it's 40 degrees, that's way too hot. He, and his reply to me was so ignorant, I have to share it with you tonight. He said, but you're black, you can't get burnt. <laughs> now, Melbourne, can we get one thing straight? We all know that black absorbs the heat, right? <laughs> so if it's 40 degrees outside, it's 50 degrees for me. <laughs> man, I love comedy, man. Make some noise if you love comedy. Ever since I started doing comedy, my friends are always asking me, hey, Emo, now that you're on stage, do you get lots of girls? No. <laughs> but I'm settled down now. I've got a missus, a beautiful seven-year-old daughter. But I do remember back in my prime, I'll share it with you. You seem like some cool people. You are, right? <laughs> ah, cool, cool. So I picked up this girl, Caucasian. Uh, yeah, that's how you know you're made as a black guy in Australia. <laughs> I'm in the white leagues now. So I'm um, in the taxi ride back to her house. She's like, oh my God, my first black guy, I can't wait. <laughs> I was like, lady, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, I can't wait to take you back to my place. And Melbourne, the reason why I was getting nervous was the last time a white person was this excited to take me back to their place, well, it was the police. <laughs> so we get back to her house without a hitch. She, she leads the way, we're in her room, and. She, and she goes, can you switch off the light? You know, to make the mood a little bit better. Had no reason to question it, I hit the lights. <laughs> now, judging by my complexion, you can imagine that I was invisible for a second there. <laughs> Don't worry, I got some pearly white teeth, I smiled, I lit up the room. <laughs> kind of like that. Um, so now we're on the bed, we're kissing, we're touching, she's naked, I'm naked. Me on top, me on top of that white girl, we look like top deck chocolate. So the time came to do it. I like to play it safe. I went to my pocket, pulled out a condom. Unfortunately, it was a glow-in-the-dark condom. <laughs> now remember, pitch dark room, black guy, glow-in-the-dark condom. From where I was standing, it looked like I was walking around with a lightsaber. <laughs> I became mesmerized by my own package. Start playing around with it a little bit. Start making sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I start walking around the room, humming a tune. <laughs> 10 minutes had passed. 
and I'm thinking she's gonna be pissed off because I completely forgot about her. <laughs> but she had gone into her top drawer and pulled out a lightsaber of her own. <laughs> dildo. Which was also glow in the dark. And she was going... <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, she was a Star Wars fan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Emo. Thank you very much for your time. God bless you, all. Give it up for Emo! Like, the largest crowd I've done prior to this was at uh, maybe 250, 300 people. Um, so 3,000, if that's what it is tonight, that is like... <laughs> It's electric, man. Fucking, there's no feeling like it. Like, definitely, I definitely want to feel that again. <laughs>